All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Analytics bounce rate. So I'm gonna be answering the question, what is Google Analytics bounce rate? What are some ways to improve it? And should you even be optimizing for your bounce rate in Google Analytics? So if we open up Google Analytics here, you can see for beachfronttocore.com. So I have my bounce right here. So this is just looking at the month of April. So you can see we've had about 14,000 users visit our website. We've had a little bit over 30,000 page views on our website and our bounce rate is 72.73%. So what is bounce rate? So bounce rate is single page sessions divided by all of your sessions or it's the percentage of sessions on your website in which users viewed only a single page. A bounce is a single page session on your website. So for an example here, if someone goes to a page on your website and leaves your website without visiting any other pages during that session, that's considered a bounce. So if seven out of 10 users only visit one page on your website, then your bounce rate would be 70%. So if we come back over here, you can see it's 72.73%. So that means for every 10,000 users, over 7,200 of them, specifically 7,273 of them are gonna leave the website by only visiting one page. So I'm gonna give you some sample data here real quick. So coming back over here, so one thing is surfsideppc.com. So this is just a short period of sample data looking at our website. So you can see users. So you can see page views over here is 3,008 for every 772 users. And pages per session is 3.22 per user. And the bounce rate is just around 10%. So that means basically only one out of every 10 people that visit surfsideppc.com bounce right away. So if I'm looking at a specific campaign here, so this is a campaign I ran through Facebook recently. It's our Surfside PPC newsletter campaign. I was trying to get people to visit my website, fill out a form, and they would go to a new web. So my bounce rate is just around 6% here, so 5.93%. So these are great bounce rates. So your bounce rate is really gonna vary depending on what type of website you have. So if I open up Farmhouse Goals here, so this is another website, similar to Beachfront Decor, but it's Farmhouse Decor, farmhousegoals.com sample data, you can see my bounce rate here is very similar to Beachfront Decor, so 72.84%, so they run the same exact theme. It's a very similar setup on each individual website. And what you can see right here is there's less pages per session than what we saw previously with the surfsideppc.com data. And if we come over here, our bounce rate for a recent Farmhouse Goal search campaign was 63.95%, so actually better than the bounce rate on our website. So truthfully, you don't need to just optimize for bounce rate, but it does represent how good of a user experience your website has, but it really depends on the overall goals of your website. So for farmhousegoals.com, there's a lot of people that click to my website and then they're gonna click off on an affiliate product and they're not gonna visit any additional pages. So I don't necessarily need to optimize for bounce rate, although I'd rather have a higher pages per session, I'd rather have higher average session duration. So if we come back over here to Beachfront Decor, let's look at some quick and easy ways to kind of fix your bounce rate and see where some of the issues are occurring. So you can see a very similar bounce rate here, very similar average session duration. So with a website related to home decor, a lot of people are just looking for one type of thing. So they come onto the website, they see an individual page, maybe they click off on a specific product or they click off on the page altogether. Now with Surfside PPC, more people are gonna be visiting different pages because not only are they signing up for my newsletter, which redirects them to another page, they're also gonna be looking for other information and other content related to the content that I'm putting out. So people that are visiting my pages are gonna be looking for specific types of content. So when you're trying to learn something, you're more likely to click around to different places. When you're just looking for something specific, like maybe some type of beach theme bedding, you might click on a product and leave the website altogether. So now we're gonna come down here, some different ways to fix your bounce rate and to kind of find some of the problem areas. So first what you can do is come to acquisition and look at overview here. So this is gonna look at all your different channels and where you're getting traffic from. So for Beachfront Decor, the majority of our traffic comes from organic search and social. So you can see both of them have pretty similar bounce rates to the average here. Direct traffic is a little bit higher. Referral traffic is actually the best performing traffic. And sometimes you might find if you're running paid advertising, for example, your bounce rate might be much higher with paid advertising than it is with organic traffic or social traffic on your website. 
So you might be able to find some issues right here by just looking at the different channels and then you can click through each individual channel and see if one specific channel is driving up your bounce rate. So generally with organic search, social and direct, your bounce rate isn't gonna to be too high from those sources of traffic, but sometimes with paid advertising, you might just have a higher bounce rate with the types of paid advertising you're running to your websites. Now the other thing you can do is if we come over here to behavior and we look at site content and we look at all pages, it's gonna first show all of your pages by the amount of sessions that they're getting, the amount of page views that they're getting. So you can see here our homepage gets a lot, uh, specifically best wooden beach signs gets a lot. And you can see some of the different bounce rates for these different pages. So my homepage is only around 40%, so that's much better than the average. Whereas this article on my website, Best Wooden Beach Signs, is at 77%. This AMP version of it, so the Accelerated Mobile Pages version of it, is actually at 81.48%. So that's a very high bounce rate for those pages. So I might want to try to find ways to kind of improve the people on that page. But if we look here for average time on page, people are visiting this page for over two minutes. That's pretty good for this individual website. So that's higher than my average of one minute and 16 seconds. So if we keep coming down here, you can see the shop page, a very good bounce rate because people are clicking through to shop other products. My product category page here for bedding and comforter sets, also very good. Now beach coastal bedroom furniture, beach theme bathrooms, beach theme bathroom ideas, pretty high bounce rates here. So there's different ways I can try to improve those bounce rates for individual pages, but I can see what the problem is, is that when people visit the blog pages on my website, they're probably looking at best wooden beach signs, they might click out to different types of products, they might purchase those products, and they're probably not looking at any other pages on the website. So I don't necessarily need to improve the bounce rate that much because ultimately my goal is to get people on these pages and click through to different products. So that's kind of the end goal there. So what I would try to do is focus more on the average time on page because even if you see here this beach themed bathrooms here, people are visiting the page for two minutes and 45 seconds. For beach themed bedroom ideas, people are visiting the page for three minutes and 29 seconds. I would much rather optimize for the average time on page for those specific blog post type pages because that means people are looking at all the different products, they're probably clicking on multiple products, and rather than optimizing for bounce rate, I'd rather have people on my page longer. Um, and I would prefer to have more page views and people kind of looking around different pages on my website. But ultimately my goal is to get traffic to these pages and get people to click off onto affiliate products. So coming back over here, you don't necessarily need to optimize for your bounce rate. It is better to have more people visiting different pages on your website. But if it's single page sessions, you really need to understand why that's happening on your website and focus on whatever metric is the most important for your website. So for Surfside PPC, I would like to keep my bounce rate around 10%. If it goes up a little bit, it's not the end of the world, especially if I start to drive more and more traffic to my website. So ultimately what I try to optimize for are pages per session and average session duration, rather than just individual bounce rate, but a higher bounce rate with a, an advertising campaign could signal that your advertising campaign isn't performing that well but ultimately you need to look at conversion data. So that's bounce rate. So anytime someone goes to a page on your website and leaves your website without visiting any other pages during that session, that's considered a bounce. So a single session page on your website and the rate is the amount of time it happens for every single session on your website. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.